I come back sometimes to what are the interests behind the data that's being produced. And, you know, just coming back to the, um, the ABS and the migration statistics, of course, we had the uh, shebang a couple of weeks ago when the, um, you know, people coming in, people coming out of the country uh, was published. And we all said, oh, that looks a bit, um, a bit, a bit off, looks a bit high. And then, of course, the ABS came out and said, oh, we can't use that for any migration calculations, despite the fact that, of course, um, other parts of government said, this is quite a good early indication of what the migration statistics ultimately will say. And then we had the Media Watch stoush, where Media Watch said, oh, you know, oh, and they managed to find um, an, an expert who was claiming that migration was falling dramatically. Um, and you sort of think, well, hang on a moment. What is the real story? What's the real agenda? Well, it's funny you should mention that, that, that because... That's that's part of our next slide, actually. Now, in the national accounts, every quarter, there is the level of GDP and the level of GDP per capita. And from that, through some rather basic ma maths, you can determine the implied population. And what I've done here is this is a six month rolling level of population growth since the borders reopened. What this shows is that Population growth peaked late in 2023 and has de and declined until the end of 2024, which is similar to what you see in the net overseas migration data. You saw it moder moderate and fall into the end of 2024. But what we've seen in the first two quarters of this year in the national accounts is population growth has once again re-accelerated which is also what we've seen in the net long-term and permanent arrivals data. Now, it's here that it need, some qualifiers need to be added. This is prone to revisions, so it's prone to be changed and revised at a later date. But if we purely take it at face value, we are seeing population growth re-accelerate. This has also been reflected in vacancy rates, both in the, the CoreLogic and SQM data. It's also been reflected in a rise on a seasonally adjusted basis in rents. So I think there's a fairly robust argument to be made that population growth is once again re-accelerating. And I will add, I don't think that this is from a magical baby boom that's just all of a sudden Australians are having significantly more children, which leaves one other rather obvious driver. <laughs> oh, you mean a few more people might be coming into the country? And um, yeah, well, that would might be a bit of a surprise. 